so I think it's like this. You got any problems? Uh, you can sit however you like. Right, just, as, just as laid back as you want. That's a little bit. All right. <laughs> Great. University uh, in the UK and also in the world, it's pretty known worldwide. Uh, I had a really good degree but I didn't know what to do with it. I went home to do my summer jobs and then this just sort of fell into my lap, coming to Warwick. Because Cambridge rejected me. <laughs> Well, we make uh, polymers, but most of the polymers we make are for particular applications. Polymers and their applications. So, a small chain of polymers. Polymer peptide conjugates. Protein polymer conjugate. Mediated polymer. We're making gold soluble polymers. <laughs> polymer chemistry. Polymers. Polymers. Polymer chemistry. Polymers. Polymer chemistry rock band. Polymers. We polymer. Probably the things we like the most is making polymers. Is that right? So I've had many explosions, if that's the type of thing you're asking about. I mean, I remember one explosion that I had uh, in my second day of my PhD when I was passing chlorine over some rhodium compound and within about um, five minutes I had a huge explosion and the biggest piece of glass that I could find was, was, was dust. That was quite interesting. And my PhD supervisor asked me if I wanted to give up and I said, no, I'll have another go tomorrow. I was staying here quite late, like 8 o'clock, so there were just two people around. So I was trying to inject something in a flask via Subasil, but I put too much force on it, so I injected the ligand in my finger. So A, I had no idea what I just injected in terms of how dangerous it was. B, I had some blood and there was a PhD student here, and when she saw the blood, she almost fainted out, passed out, so uh, she couldn't help me with this at all. So I just went to the bathroom, cleaned it and everything. I was not in pain or something like this, but that was a bad experience for my first month. So. Yeah, so they had, they had a polymer chemistry rock band, um, which is made up from some academics from Nottingham, and uh, they did a rendition of Teenage Kicks, and Dave got on stage and uh, sang it. And uh, <laughs> they were really good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time going into my lab to be confronted by um, at least five people all lined up in like a line dance situation with one of my postdocs standing in front of them, which which was one. Uh, Dr. Stefan Bonn and there was music blaring out from a very popular group at the time um, with Stefan anyway called Steps which you may or may not know and all over my lab were printed out copies of dance moves and Stefan was indeed teaching them how to do tragedy by, by Steps. Um, I would use the football story. Dave used to play football with his group a long time ago before my time uh, and was very, very competitive and once uh, instigated a mass brawl on, a, on the pitch and one of his players got fouled by the other team and Dave actually tried to lamp the person who fouled one of his students. The rumours say that his wife uh, forbid him to play football for any more after this match. Uh, but that may have been dressed up quite a lot through the people that have told me that story. So. But I think that's quite funny. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> go pub slalom tonight, but bar crawl, forks now, that'll be fun. Uh, well, a lot of singing and dancing. <laughs> that, uh, that's quite fun. Yeah, it's mostly it. Sometimes we go to dinner as a group, that's really nice. Uh, I'll do more chemistry. No, not really. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it depends what day. I have quite a nice routine. Uh, I like to stick to a routine. In the week I don't really do a lot, I just do nothing. The most important thing in my life after farming is food. So I would spend one or two hours just to cook a very nice meal to award me for a difficult day. After I've given lectures, to second or third years, I have to come and have a half a bottle of whiskey and then try and look compass mentis when I go and talk to my research group.